four, my name is Alyssa. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and an osteoarthritis specialist. And today on this workout video, I have my grandma here with me who is in her 80s. And we are going to go through a workout routine that's arthritis friendly, but going to give you some movements to strengthen your legs, help your balance, and help you lead an active life. So for the first part, all you need is some space. You can grab a chair or have something next to you that can help with some stability if you're not as confident in your balance. Okay, so without further ado, we are going to get started. So first, all we're gonna do is just march. You're gonna lift one leg and then the other. Now you wanna try to lift it as high as you feel comfortable. That is gonna be a little more challenging on your balance. So if you wanna keep it a little lower, that works too. And we're gonna go for about 15 seconds. Start to kind of stretch out the knees a little bit. Four, three, two, and one. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna step sideways. So one, two, one, two. there we go, okay? And then one, two, back the other way. One, two, to the side, back the other way, perfect. And keep going just like this. Now the bigger step you take, the harder it's going to be. You can make the steps a little smaller and you can use support if you need to. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna take a step forward. Now, <laughs> yeah. we're going to alternate taking steps backwards. So you're gonna step with one leg and bring it back to the front. And you're gonna step with the other and bring it back to the front. Step with the other and just alternate. Perfect. Now again, the bigger step you take backwards, the harder it's going to be. Starting to wake up the backs of those hips in those glutes. Three, two, and then last one. Okay, now if you can take a step back, we're gonna stand on the left foot to start. We're gonna step out to the side with the right. Now the right one is the only one that's moving. So you're gonna step out and then come back. Step out and come back. Step out and come back. Perfect. Step out oh, and come Keep back. Okay. Step out, come back. Step out, come back. Five, four, three, two, and then last one. And now we're gonna switch to the other side. So now you're standing on the right and you're moving the left. So if you need to step this way a little bit. Okay, now you're gonna move the left. So you're gonna step to the side and then come back. Step to the side and come back. Side, perfect, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, or you do want to make sure that you're not limping. So we're both up nice and tall. If you feel like you're limping, that's when the chair comes in handy. Two, and then last one. Okay, now we're gonna add in a little bit of trunk rotation. So what we're gonna do is we're going to step out with the right foot to the side. Now, as I do that, you're gonna reach with the right hand across. So we're gonna step and reach at the same time. So you're gonna step across and reach, one, and we're gonna do 10 on each side. Here's two, three, four. So we're reaching as far as you can, start to feel kind of a stretch all the way down. Not a very good counter, I think we have two more. <laughs> and one more, perfect. And now we're gonna do the same thing, other side. So you're gonna step out with the left, and then you're gonna reach across with the left. Ready? Here we go. One for 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, 10. Okay, now we're gonna move into balance, which the chair may come in handy on this one. So first, we're gonna step forward with the right foot. So the right foot's gonna be in front of the left. 
Now the narrower you go, so from this side, the narrower you go, the harder it's gonna be. So you wanna find a position, like moving your foot, front foot out a little bit, where you can kind of stand just like this, comfortably. You'll feel your ankles wobbling a little bit. Now, if you just try to swing your arms, one and then the other, yep, and then, there we go. I like to be in sync here. <laughs> So this simulates an exaggerated walking. So you're essentially trying to keep your balance as you're moving your arms. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, staying just in this position, so keeping your right foot forward, see if you can bring that left foot back, kind of put your toe back, yes. So the less weight you have on this back foot, the harder it's gonna be. So you essentially have more weight on your front leg and that's what we're working. The chair may come in handy yeah. for this one. <laughs> okay, okay, so we're just gonna stand here. And if you need a break, you can just kind of set that back foot down. But we're just going to stand here and work all of these muscles on that front leg are working together from your hip to your knee, down to your ankle to keep yourself in one position. Okay, and then now, so you can put that back foot down and we're gonna step back to a normal stance. Now you're gonna take your left foot and we're gonna put that right in front. So you wanna bring it in as narrow as you can comfortably. So try to keep your back foot a little straighter. Sometimes the feet wanna turn out. Yeah, so we wanna just keep it as straight as possible. Yes, okay. And then now, once you feel comfortable here, then we're just gonna swing our arms you are going to sink okay. here. <laughs> yeah. here swing, your arms. <laughs> swing your arms forward and back. So the goal for this one is to work to the point where you can get one foot almost totally in front of the other without losing your balance, of course. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to do the same thing where we're going to try to lift that back foot up just a little bit, so see up. Yeah. Make a chair. <laughs> and then just see if we can stand here. Yes, and if you do feel like you need the chair like this, see if you can just maybe take a few seconds off, get your balance, and then you can stabilize if you need to. There we go. Three, two, and, <laughs> and one. Okay, perfect. Now, what I want us to try is we're going to step to the side and reach to the side. So you're gonna step and reach. Yes, move over. Okay, step and reach. Okay. And now I wanna see if we can add a little bit of speed to this. So try to step and reach. Yes, and then step and reach. Try to make it quicker, as quickly as you feel comfortable because you start to work different muscles the second you start moving more quickly. So if you just think about it, even if you don't feel like you're moving quickly. Okay, three, two, last one. Okay, now we're gonna switch to the other side, same thing, so we're going this way. Okay, and so step and reach. Yes, one, two, three. Again, try to make it a little quicker Four, there we go, five, six, we're going to 10, seven, eight, nine, and then last one for 10. Okay, now we're going to reach up and lift one leg. So a couple of things, if this is too hard to reach all the way overhead, you can just reach out in front of you. Now, the higher you lift your leg, the harder it is on balance. So we're just gonna reach up and lift one leg, reach up and lift the other. So reach up and lift one, yep, okay. Bring it down, up and lift the other, yes. So this is a little bit of a core movement, yes. And if it is too difficult to lift your leg, you can just take it to a step and just see if you can lift your foot off the ground. Yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Okay, so for this next part, now that we've got everything loosened and limbered up, we 
are going to grab chairs. So if you could grab a chair or move to a chair where you can stand up and down from it, even if you have to use your arms, that's okay. But grab a chair and meet us right back here. Okay, so now we are in a chair that you can stand up from. Now if it needs to be higher, it needs to add a cushion, that's totally fine too. What we're going to do to start is we're going to do eight standing up and sitting down. Both feet about shoulder width apart. You want to move them back a little bit so you can see if you can get your heels a little bit underneath. Yes. Okay. And then move your feet back just a little bit underneath you. Okay. So now we're going to stand up for eight. Stand up and then sit back down. Stand up and then sit back down. Now I want you to think about standing up fast. And just sitting down a little slower. So you're gonna stand up fast, this is four, and sit down a little slower, yes. Again, starting to think about moving a little bit quicker, even just thinking about it. It's okay if you're not necessarily moving fast. We have one more, and then back. Okay, now, for this next part, you're gonna stagger your feet. So one leg is going to be back, the other leg is going to be in front. Now, the further out you go, the harder it's going to be. So start with a little bit closer together. And with this one, you may need to use arms if you have arms on your chair or a higher chair. We're going to try five each side. What you're going to do is stand up with your feet in this position, and then you're going to sit back down. Now what this is, is a modified single leg squat. So you're essentially putting more weight on that back leg. Three, we have two more. And last one, up, yes, okay, and then down. So now you're gonna switch. Other foot goes in front, other behind. Now one thing I want you to pay attention to is one, Try to keep your feet as straight as you can, or as straight as is comfortable. Also, notice that there's a different side to side, like if one side feels harder than the other. That's the side that we want to focus on a little more. Five, just like this. Keep your feet where they are, stand up, and then down. There's one, stand up, two, three, four, and five, perfect. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually flip the chairs around. So, if we turn it around just so you can, yes, just so you can hang on to the side of it. Okay, now what we're going to do, I'll show you more from the side, but you're going to step back so you're feeling you're kind of reaching forward, yep. Okay, now you're going to, have just a slight bend in your knees, so just make them relax. You're not gonna bend your knees any further, but you're gonna sit your hips back. So you should almost feel, so go ahead and sit your hips back. Yes, so you should almost feel a stretch in the backs of your legs, and then now stand up and squeeze your glutes at the top. Okay, now you're gonna bring your hips back. Yes, and then now squeeze up. So you wanna get to the point where you're bringing your hips back far enough where you feel the stretch kind of in the backs of your legs and then squeeze up. And then now sit your hips back. Yep. And then we're just gonna try two more. So really think about squeezing your, your hips, your glutes at the top. So really kind of give them a good squeeze at the top. And we have one more, reach back with your hips and now squeeze up. Take a little step closer to the chair now, so you're almost just kind of standing next to it here. Now what you're gonna do is we're gonna raise up on both heels, and then we're gonna come back and you're gonna lift your toes off the ground. So you wanna be careful on the chair on this one, make sure it's not gonna move, because you will shift backwards a little bit, and then now lift your both toes up, yep, and then raise all the way up if you can, yes, and then lift both toes, we have three more, raise all the way up, lift both toes, two more, raise all the way up, lift both toes, last one, raise all the way up, and then lift both toes. Okay, now all we're gonna do is just a slight march. 
We'll start to cool it down just a little bit here. Add in those arms. Yes. And then now, what we're going to do in three, two, and one, you're going to tap, tap. Tap to the side, tap to the side. Tap to the side, tap to the side. Just a small tap. Try to take some deep breaths and just decrease your heart rate if it is a little elevated. Five, four, three, two, and one. Last thing, you're gonna take both arms straight out in front of you. You're gonna keep your shoulders down, so away from your ears, and you're just gonna pull your arms back and then raise forward. So I'll show you from this side, you're gonna pull your arms back so your elbows go behind you. Yep. Almost think about squeezing your shoulder blades together in the back, reach them back. So notice we're not up near our ears. Keep as much space between your shoulder and ears as you can. So think about really keeping down. Yes. Three, two, and one. Awesome. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below so you can follow along for all upcoming videos. And thank you so much for joining us and hope your joints feel limber to lift. <laughs>